Hey, welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. I'm Elric Ferris, your host, and today we're gonna to take a look at something that's really geared towards the family setting. It's like for family, educational, that type of stuff, even for point of sales, this will be actually be a great unit. For you gamers out there, this isn't for you, unless you're playing just like, you know, little games like, you know, Angry Birds or something like that, maybe. It's not really geared for the gamer. It's really geared for interaction with the family. What is this, all of this? I know you guys want to get rid of the rhetoric. This is the new Intel AIO platform, all in one. Now, today, the main thing that I'm gonna be focusing on is Intel's mini ITX technology motherboard. They have the thinnest ITX motherboard on the planet, and they're creating this open architecture platform for many people to jump into and make. Now, what this is going to be, it features the Intel DH61AG motherboard. This is their very, very tiny motherboard. I mean, it's really thin. When we show you the rear I own this thing, you're gonna be amazed at how small it is. But it's open architecture. With this motherboard, there's many other companies out there who will be making this. Currently, Gigabyte, MyTech, and ECS are all making these little box units. There's a 21.5 inch available with a touchscreen or with a non-touchscreen. Touchscreen coming in at about $1,000, non-touchscreen about $800. There's also gonna be an 18.5 version. The same thing on that, it's going to be touchscreen or non-touchscreen, I'm not sure of the price. All these units are supposed to come pre-configured. They're gonna have HD graphics inside and they all have eight gigabytes of memory upgradable to 16 because there's only two slots. You can actually remove the back of the unit to see everything inside of it, but upgradability is pretty small. It's pretty much geared, like they say, to be all in one. But there are some really cool things about the unit. For one thing, it runs very cool. It's very interactive. It works with a mouse or keyboard, or you can use it as a touchscreen, which I think is really cool. It also has IPS technology in the monitor, which means no matter what angle that you look at the monitor in the room, you can still see the monitor. Now, I know a lot of this information for a lot of you guys out there who are extreme hardware enthusiasts, you're not going to really care about that. But for me, I think back to when my kids were small, it would have been really cool to have a computer right at the kitchen table that my kids could have just went up to, put their fingers on and accessed. I mean, check this out. Everything works perfectly off my fingertips. I just click here, I click there, I drag here, drag there. I really feel that back when my children were growing up, this would have been a really cool thing. So for families, I think this is gonna be a really good box set. Right now, only three people are making boxes, but the thing is, this is open architecture. Any company out there, Biostar, Asus, Gigabyte, ASRock, any company that's out there can actually use their motherboard and have one of these chassis built. And at the distributor level, you can actually have the chassis completely built for your own standard, which means it can have your own name on the outside, your own logo, your own color, all that kind of stuff. What Intel's pretty much doing is they have this motherboard platform that they've created. And you guys know Intel makes their motherboard and then everybody else builds their motherboards off their chipset. A lot of times, no offense, Celtel, they even Bonk. improve upon the motherboards. So there might even be a chance with version 2.0 that you get even included more features in the next generation though. The one I have comes with the i5, 2405S clocked at 2.5 gigahertz and has the HD 3000 graphics embedded in it. You also get a LAN port, you get a DVI port, an HDMI port, you get external powered eSATA, two USB 3.0 ports, and two standard 2.0 USB ports. So pretty much you get a really decked out I.O. on this. And the thing is it's really small, and you see that here that the power connects to the side, and the power breaks an external unit. This means that basically all the power that's being generated is done outside of the system. On a lot of the other systems that we've seen that are built all in one, the power supply is actually still on the motherboard or inside the system. This causes a lot of heat problems. Also, it did come pre-configured with Microsoft Home Premium 64-bit edition, and it came with a nice wireless keyboard and mouse all coming into market at a thousand dollars so i hope you guys think this is pretty cool i think it's a pretty cool product maybe not for you gamers but out there but for people out there who are looking for education point of sales integration or just a great system to have for when your friends come over to jump on and play around on and check their email and stuff i think it's going to be a great system is it geared for the enthusiast no but is it geared for all the mainstream people you know it, and that's why I like it and why I think this new project ought to fly. See you guys back here on the channel. <laughs>